Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our legendary Iron Man Royal Rumble campaign where I'm trying to survive as long as possible in a hostile environment of yellow dark alert, uh, yellow alerts, dark events and quite a few additional enemies plus more enemies of course. So heavily modded campaign and on top of it since you guys love to see me struggle it is time for protect the device mission operation dragon god it's not going to be fun i can already see that but we need the supplies and i hope we can counter that dark event uh, so difficult means we're potentially fighting against 2025 enemies and when it says praetorian leadership i can only assume that is the uh, mod the praetorians uh, we have not fought against many of them yet, but uh, if it says proceed with caution, then that's not a good sign. We put Slicinator with a real good gun into shredding duty. We got double uh, Ranger this time, Sonar and Implacable. Uh, Endors with blue screen rounds, Hogbite, so it's a very kind of melee oriented group. I'm wondering if we should maybe take a second sniper. Yeah, I think that's a better setup. One sec. Instead of going in with a second sniper, I think there might be an argument that you could take uh, that we haven't seen enough uh, skirmisher action so far. It's actually a decent fire support option uh, for the last slot. Not the highest DPS, but with uh, poison we could at least start to uh, wiggle the enemy down and reduce their chances of hitting so that's not bad either i like what i'm seeing let's hope it's enough to save that device okay so we landed time for a protect the device mission that looks like one two three full movements that's a relatively small map and small, and small maps uh, typically tend to attract a lot of attention from Advent. And in that case, I'm talking about the unwanted kind of attention. Trying to figure out if any of those windows... Nope, can't pull into any of those. Uh, that is really unfortunate. I like that second floor. Quite potent. Oh, and we already move into the first pack. Praetorian Lieutenant, Purifier, Viper. Okay. That looks quite tough. Let's move up. Double time. They seem to have a rather large vigilance radius. If you look at it, this is all this is extensive. It's an entire full movement worth of um, radius. Rust is moving up and let's put Inquisitor into a good position over here as well. That is a massively beefy pack. What? <laughs> Okay, what am I witnessing? Holy. And then Edmund is missing. He's missing the actual shot. Ooh. Oh. I don't know. This looks like such a bad idea. 
together with kill zone uh, that actually would be great but I have uh, the suspicion that won't work we got a hack Gain control of a random enemy for two turns. I like that. Let's... That... Um, that shouldn't be breaking. No, that is not breaking. Concealment. Well, unless, of course, we're failing. Well, hello there. The idea was grandiose, the execution rather poor. Good, which brings us to that natural point in every XCOM campaign where you are starting to scream like a little schoolgirl, realizing that things are not really going your way. Got to deal with the left hand side here first. Let's move up. We can always move up a little bit further. Moving into cover with Slicinator. Bio Rocket Trooper looks like something that I don't want to mess with. So let's just remove this here for now. Cover removal. And this will soon explode. Great. Fantastic. Grand. Softening the bio trooper up. Didn't work like I was expecting. Softening the trooper up. That's more like it. And... Now it is death from above time. Bio assault trooper. You know, all of them like have their very own distinctive flavor of you don't want to fight against them. Mm, that was another miss. Grappling into high ground. Let's explode the purifier if possible. We need to play it a bit risky. This is not a hundred percent kill. That's only a sixty-six percent kill. But I, I wanted to save that pistol shot for someone else. Fortunately, that also did not explode, which leaves us with a fatal situation.
starting to feed Hogbite. Slowly but surely. I need to get that other heavy lancer. Come on, crit. Nice. Alright, then placeable. Moves into full cover. It was an okay first round. One pack. We could have taken that out. Two packs. Bit too much, uh, if you ask me. All right, Slicinator is being grabbed. Yeah, move to the car. No, that is not the car, Viper. Ooh, look at you, Shield Maiden. Didn't he just already have a shot? Okay, luckily the de uh, Demolitionist apparently missed. And these guys... Yeah, don't think about adding guys oh my gosh how is that possible oh yeah i remember yellow alert mm. yeah that would not really help us Let's hit the Viper and try to kill it. 98% shot, unfortunately, was dodged. Okay, slicing at the... We'll need to get into cover. We move to here. Move to here and get that Praetorian Lieutenant. This here is the best cover spot, full cover. He's poisoned, which is not good, but I have the right recipe for that. It's healer mode time. Yeah, we need to kill this guy first. Can't let them sit in our uh, sit in our back here. Thirteen hit points. The shotgun alone will not be enough. What's the sniper doing? Oh, sniper already has taken his shot. We still have problems with that Viper. I 
Got time for dealing with that bio assault trooper. Didn't work like I was hoping it would. That guy is a real problem. Can't have anyone who is clustering up too much the demolitionist. All right. Reactive nanobots. Oh, and we got a hair trigger. Good. Wow, that was good. Um, so he's down to eight hit points. Is that enough to kill him? Not with hot bite. But like he with this cheeky move here. All right, Praetorian. More like lame Torian. Sonar moves up. Cool. Very good. Can't really do that. We're not in the. We're not having the power to. To get these guys down, not yet. There is a small chance. Um, well, it's not that small. It's 50-50. That we would kill him. Solid chance here as well. And I think Bioassault Bio Trooper is going to be one of our next targets. We need to um, start getting him down. So Hogbite does have sustenance. If push comes to shove, we can rely on that. And we need to kill. Very good. Half cover, full cover. Uh, this, is a bit, this is a bit dangerous. I hate to do half cover there, but... I mean... What are you going to do? There's only so much a single person can do. We have two more shots. And I think that bio trooper... Uh, no. Certainly not the lieutenant. So time to get the bio trooper. I must All right. We're slowly getting the shield off. And apparently the game didn't like it at all because it's now frozen. Let me try to unfreeze it. All right, so I could uh, restore uh, as close of a safe game as, um, as possible. I was replaying the last turn and replayed it uh, bit by bit. Unfortunately, the damage rolls are not seeded, so they changed a bit. Uh, the Viper died a little bit earlier and I managed to essentially hit and kill the uh, bio trooper here in cover but everybody else is really just uh, same position same order of kills 
uh, that I think is still fine from a com uh, competitive integrity standpoint. I did not decide to uh, to end uh, the game forcefully. It just happened to not work. And I will forfeit my other turns uh, that I had because I wanted to be as close as possible to what we originally played. <sighs> I think that's a flanking position. Careful. All right. Advent Wrecker. Dude, you gotta be careful with your car. Advent Captain. Advent Captain. Six armor, 15 hit points. I need to get armor penetrating rounds. It's completely getting out of hand. Uh, okay. So close. Okay, we have plenty of problems here. And that explosion was just one of many. Okay, let's start. First things first, we gotta heal Hogbite. move carefully to here but that actually would be pushing it i'd much rather like to go all the way to here and hit that nasty viper there but we have other problems such as the lieutenant okay let's see high ground here 90 percent chance to hit all right So we need to play the flanking game, elsewise we're not going to be successful. Start with that wrecker. Nice hit, poisonous damage. He's almost down. Let's kill him. Alright, that means death from above. This is a good solid position, but we do have that guy in full cover here. The lieutenant is a problem as well. Position ourselves here and then essentially start hitting him. So just for our convenience, like what could Hogby do? The demo guy would be good, but I'm not sure if that is a good idea. I mean, attacking here, could hide ourselves there. That would be very much in flanking range. What else? I would love to hit that captain, but look just how much armor this guy has. no great targets unless we're removing cover which i think we have no more grenades no we don't uh. the advent purifier is another problem I think we actually have to take these guys here one by one. And withdraw a little bit. I don't know how to deal with this situation elsewise. Purifier is not a high priority target, but equally he has, um, he has grenades, which makes him dangerous.
full cover 50 50 didn't work out That's likely not going to kill him. Hogbite charges in to here. Too aggressive. Well, we could use Vault in order to kill him. Just going here and vaulting him. That's potentially the right play. Seems like a huge waste. But then again... We're not having a great position to begin with. Hogbite could be flanked here from the Viper. But we can give him... A protocol. All right. Potentially should have given that to Sly Senator because Hogbite is the much sturdier target. Alright, maybe he compromises his position. Full cover, yep. That's not an easy hit for them. That's fine. They're pushing a little bit in our direction. That would be okay. Come on, Captain. Come in. Don't. No. Mm -mm. Good. They're all over me. We need to get him back up. Else elsewise this is very soon lost. All right, Gremlin stabilize. And let's go for revival protocol. We need the uh, shredding. And we need it really, really bad. Okay. So since we're being flanked here... move over here we don't have we only have one hit point so it's kind of a given that everybody will attack him up here would be great but that is flankable so i'm considering maybe something along the lines of going to here and then just starting to clear the advent shield bearer This would be too aggressive, and this is unfortunately out of reach. What's over there? All right, can't can't really reach him. 
That's a shame. Flanking shot onto the Viper. Alright, now we're talking. Shield is nicely removed. That would be too aggressive. This here actually would be a really good spot. And it would prevent the lieutenant from catching up with us. Corner spot, always good. This guy's problem. Could move to here and just start um, parrying him. Trooper is another issue. Too exposed, we would be flanked. I think this here is decent. Not great, but decent. Fantastic. Packable like can get us back here. Again, this will not be great, but okay. Stanford who runs, that's good. Oh, that's a nice proc. I would parry if it wouldn't be just attackable by three enemies. Just too many enemies left for now. Full cover. Slicinator. Move to here. The Praetorian is still a problem. Technically, that Viper could move to here, take a shot at us. Can't risk that. So, I think we're overwatching. Uh, we're reloading, sorry. Momentum is available. Perfect, in which case, I would say... This here is a good spot. This here isn't a bad spot either. Mm, that's decent. It's flankable though. So maybe we're just moving to here. Where this guy would need to move up to here in order to shoot us. Could go to here. Which is not flankable at all. Move to here. Move into flankable. The area is just too messy. We can't really get into any position which is completely safe. But from all of the positions that are semi safe, this here is potentially the one that is okay because the Viper can't like just move all the way here. Won't do that. Nah, let's take the safe route here. 
Demolitionist. Alright, so definitely we're, we need to go for that Praetorian. Oh no, 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 no. Well, F you. Oh, okay, that is close. The device is almost down. I don't think we're going to get it. We're taking so much damage here. It's not even funny. Moving into full cover. Come on, Slicey. We're down to two hit points. Not a great start. I will think about where to position next. Um, to reloading here. Going in for the kill. Run and gun. Understood. Moving out. Enemy destroyed. I thought I was far enough away. Well, you learn something new every single day, right? That's what they say. Moving to designated position. Good, we're going to burn a little bit. But we have a few people that could require healing. <laughs> and by that I mean... Pretty much every single one of our team? Come on. This is burning, which is uh, care uh, where I need to be careful because it could just destroy the landscape. I can't reach him by one tile. How the hell? Hogby needs to tank that guy, elsewise, we're going to be in uh, trouble. All right, uh, Perry is definitely what he's going to do here. And I would like to take the high ground here just to get out of line of sight of the Praetorian. No, 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 attack Hogbite. Dude, what's wrong with you? I'm hit. I'm hit.
Okay, we need to hit him in order to shred him. Taking that high ground uh, bonus here. In order to overcome his full cover. Okay. Look, all of these options are not great, I get it. But we gotta do something here. Good, eat that with your adaptive nano gale. Nano gale. Oh, so close. Let's see, we still have sonar over here. We got Hogbite, got to deal with that bio trooper. And with the Mindbender. Mindbender is a, is a nasty being as well. I think we gotta move our sniper here so that we can grapple hook next turn. Inquisitor, perfect option would be to sort of get into that second floor. I think that won't happen. Not right now. Okay. Sona moves up. Not a great option to deal with him. He's still stunned. We're triggering Overwatch. Good, as always, remove the enemies first, that will actually help you, carrying, and a protocol to sonar, because when the captain wakes up I just don't want him to take damage. Good. We got justice pull, which we could do next turn. Just wondering to where. Yeah, positioning ourselves here that is still out of uh, reach. He does not see us here. Next turn we're moving up and trying to pull him out of there. That's the official parry. Good, good, good. Oh, and a deflect. And test. I think there might be a chance that we are actually. Uh, let's not. Let's not jinx it, Saiken. Let's not jinx it. Maybe. Maybe not. All right, let's get that guy out of there. Come on, come on. Very nice. That's what you get from being a bitch. Okay, I'll go. 
Good, let's shred him and then hopefully we can get him down. Good. I don't want to stand next to that burning fountain. Instead, we're positioning ourselves very well so that we can see everything and that should be a kill. Alright, moving up. Reload. And this is one of the few times where I actually want a one on one. Those two guys can figure it out. Yeah, whatever you're saying, shut up. There is the parry. Your grenade does not mean anything to me. It looked scary though. The guy's just healing up. That is a problem. Moving up. Fascinator gets a bit closer. Inquisitor moves away so that we're not going to be spotted out. Using line of sight to our fullest advantage. Hogby drives him further back here. That is just one point of damage. Are you kidding me? All right, Russ. Moving over here, we're going to get closer next turn. Overwatch and Overwatch. That captain by itself. It's an absolute nightmare. Parrying. <laughs> He's dodging. He's, he just continues to dodge everything. Moving a bit closer. Overwatch. It's 
Slicinator gets a bit closer. And we are overall getting a bit closer. Still keeping out of line of sight. Two hit point regeneration. It's just what we can hit every round. But the moment that this schmuck is going to get stunned, things are looking very, very different. So, come on, stun him. Not happening. Problem is, I can't really do much unless we stun this guy because I don't want him to retaliate Could we kill him all right full cover Let's put a protocol into action. Move into full cover. Moving over here, which is far enough away, we're grappling up next turn and are trying to hit him. No one else should engage yet. One hit point on the device. Unbelievable. It's really one HP on that device. All right, we're finishing this. Time to end his life. Nicely shredded. Jumping in. Oh, he's still dodging. Okay, got you. All right. Everybody's just trying to hammer home the message. You are not welcome here. If that's the level of difficulty that we're working with, then... I don't think I can pull that off uh, too often. Like we're literally, we had, we 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 ran through a down, revived, um, getting back to hit points, two hit points, two hit points, four hit points. Everybody was a one shot, and. It was still an incredibly close combat. One hit point on the um, on the protection device uh, on top of uh, the actual mission. Like it, it's not getting closer than that. I had a lot of 
uh, really close calls on the protect the device missions but this one somehow blew it uh, blew it out of the water that's potentially one of the most difficult and closest ones that i've played not because it only went down to like one hit point on the uh, device itself but also because everybody just took damage so lessons learned from the praetorians they do have a shit ton of armor um, unbelievable we got to deal with uh, with that amount of armor it's it's way too much so we need armor penetrating rounds when we're fighting against them and got a bio nanoscale vest Midnight raids. Okay, that would have not allowed us to um, to gain any uh, further rookies. <laughs> oh, that is a hard dark event. Oh boy, that is a hard dark event. So let me just shortly uh, check. We had that load out, uh, load out, and there is a bio vest. Gives two bonus healths, increases armor by two, and grants acid immunity. That's actually a really, really uh, good vest. That's a really good vest, specifically the um, immunity on top of everything else. So that's maybe something that we could use for uh, now. And vests uh, have plus one hit point due to our due to our um, uh, breakthrough, and plus uh, two uh, plus one armor as well. So that's actually three armor, three health. Pretty, pretty damn good vest. Um, just double checking really quickly. Uh, that seems to be an item which we cannot just build, right? Armor. Okay, well, it was worth a try. Advanced uh, grenade launcher. I think we're instantly building that. Thanks to the supplies. What else did we want to do with the supplies? Wait, 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 Saiken. Don't just throw valuable supplies out of the window. We wanted to... We were short on supplies and we wanted to upgrade armor. Let's not immediately... Um, go get the um, spend all of the supplies shall we instead I would like to get 40 intel to make contact and I think we had the regional income which also was a priority let's get that regional income because long term Long-term income is a problem for us. It's actually a relatively big problem. Chosen attacked. Uh, we lost one of our Larium cores and uh, they wounded a scientist. Could be worse. How many um, cores do we have? Four. Could try for another um, experimental ammunition, maybe to get uh, armor penetrating. And we also wanted to get a spark. I remember that distinctly. But it that still takes a while. Let's get one ammunition. Of course, the the only one of uh, the ammunitions that we that we uh, do not have that uh, is not armor penetrating. Okay, they are trying to capture more of us, and finally plasma grenades. That's a great upgrade. Advanced explosives would allow us to upgrade every other explosive and i think for now 
I would rather do the spark. We need more manpower or robotic power. And if I'm not doing it now, I will regret it and will potentially not do it anytime soon. Okay, fantastic. Yes, please build your bond. And whilst we're at it, try to remove negative traits. Great. Okay, hard armor, still 18 days. We're doing well with our avatar project reduction. And I already mentioned we wanted to do even more covert action. Aim plus two is something that a grenadier could use. For instance, Euler here. But equally Zirkim. And who would be on that fine mission together with you? Uh, sharpshooter, ranger, ranger, specialist, lots of specialists, so... Let's take an appropriate Murphy. No capture, but the two of you need to potentially fight. Plasma grenades are good. Uh, that is not a problem. I think you're fine with the weapon that you do have. And inappropriate Murphy takes one uh, healing kit with him. Just out of curiosity, are these nanomed kits? Yeah, six hit points. Okay, good. I we upgraded them for a reason. So now reduce Avatar Project uh, Part Two for this month. Understood, I'm just trying to stay in the game, and that means although it's a bit boring to always do the avatar project um, it works i mean look at the avatar project right 23 supplies that's good we're at 150 uh, and i want to make contact could use some more supplies that would be around 100 maybe the other option is Intel into making contact. Integrated warfare could be super valuable for us. Let's make contact. Let's make contact. I think that's the better plan here. We need to continuously expand because we're really 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 far uh, behind the curve when it comes to expansion the game can easily begin to suck you dry due to these continuous decreases look at that i mean this was this month uh, monthly decrease and just because we were scanning that allowed us to uh, stay on top shinrod welcome to the team Lovely to have you. Good. I can't promise you anything, uh, specifically since it's a pretty hard environment, but maybe one of you survives, and that would be great. I'm just hoping that we will get the armor upgrade soon, because this is... Crazy. And another raid. Hive royalty. A small feral chrysalid group containing new juvenile... A, ju <laughs> a juvenile queen is reported to be in that area. Reports state she may be heavily guarded and we should proceed with extreme caution, Commander. All right. All right. Wait, we're trying to proceed with extreme caution, my dudes. We're trying to do it, but it is not easy.
Yeah. 40 days until powered armor. I think we gotta go in there with uh, two specialists just to heal the amount of chrysalid poison that we're going to eat. Yeah. I don't know. If you're as afraid as I am of a juvenile queen, squash that like button because I was told that is the breeding ground for new bugs. We might be able to extinguish them this way. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in two days. Bye-bye.